Hi, this is Mike. We're here on Patrick Street. We're talking to people about the Christmas season, uh, the meaning behind the holiday, and Jesus Christ. Yeah. So have you got your Christmas shopping yet? Have I got my Christmas shopping yet? No. I have some of it, and I got paid today, so I have to go and do the rest of it. But I am ridiculously behind on it. It's not good at all. So have, um, have you got your Christmas shopping done yet? No. No. I've got the child stuff done. We did it in August. Really? Very well, very well organised, because I know that they do Christmas, uh, they do summer sales in the, in the, all the toy shops. Yes. So before Christmas stuff comes in, so I go in and do all my Christmas for the kids. Okay. Before Christmas, the, the summer holidays. For the girlfriend, different matter. I haven't got her a thing yet. Okay. So have you got your Christmas shopping done? For like four or five people. Okay. A and is that it, or do you have more to go? I have so much more to go. I only started last week. Um, hello, Mr. Spillan. Hello. Um, so, have you done your Christmas shopping yet? No, I'm under first pressure, lads. Have you got your Christmas shopping done yet? Uh, I'm just waiting for my fiance and we preparing for shopping because we're going to Poland for Christmas. Okay. And I have to buy a lot of presents for my parents, my brother, and my friends. And, and what does Christmas mean to you on a, on a personal level, or, or does it mean anything? Uh, I think it's kind of a hassle. Okay. Uh, myself, um, I, uh, I I enjoy uh, good food and good company, but uh, it's a, there's a lot of pressure. I believe it's a season of giving. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's, it's far as I know. <laughs> um, uh, I like the lights. Do you? Yeah. Okay. I like the lights. Uh, when it's at night time and the lights are on, it's class. Makes me that, that's when I know it's Christmas really when you go in and well, tones off. Well, a good, a good woolly jumper or a good, yeah. a good warm. <laughs> um, I like it, I like the, you know, the run up to it. Um, I like Christmas, but it can be troublesome as well. What does Christmas to mean to you personally? <laughs> Normally it's just a family occasion when I get to meet with my family, but this year I'm collecting for sure. So it's really different and it's just an opportunity to give back to the community. as to why Jesus was born. Um, I don't believe that Jesus died on the cross. I think that was invented by um, poets and um, songwriters. And as a, as a songwriter? Um, the birth of Jesus. Um, I think that um, the Jesus myth was um, a beautiful story. I think it was mostly fabricated from previous religions and mythologies. Um, the stable is beautiful, but I don't actually like believe it literally. So you believe, so do you think that Christmas is more of a hoax, like a commercial kind of a thing? No, I think it's an eternal uh, festival that was always there to celebrate um, midwinter. Hmm. And I think that Jesus is a symbol um, for uh, the death of um, the old year and the birth of the new year. Hmm. It's a metaphor, do you get it? What I've heard from it is that uh, the whole lunar, solar rotation thing has just been pretty much copied from religions that existed in the past. Put it as pretty basically as I can. Pretty if you put it as basically as I okay. that's what I understood from it anyway. Okay. He got birthday presents and Christmas presents. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that is probably the most profound thing I've heard all day. Jesus born. Okay. Son of the painter. And yeah, what's what's your understanding of why he was born, or what's the meaning behind his birth? Okay, I searched my word. <laughs> Uh, to reconcile people with God, and to forgive us for our sins. Good answer. That's a very good answer. Thank you. Joy to 